about uh, gold and silver, do you see them coming back and, and having some sort of a role in global finance? Well, I doubt it unless something happens very quickly uh, and very suddenly. Uh, I mean, we, I don't think the U.S. dollar is going to blow up today or this year even. Uh, it's, it's going in that direction. Uh, it could if we, if we have a gigantic collapse in three months or a few months. Yes, of course, people may grab for gold or silver in desperation. I doubt it. Um, the, the problem with the gold standard or the silver, it works. And politicians don't like it. It requires d discipline and, you know, and knowledge. Well, p politicians don't want discipline. They don't want somebody making them not spend too much money. Uh, the gold standard has certainly been good at times. It's had its own failures. It's never lasted because politicians have always found a way to cheat and to trick people with the gold standard and the silver standard. But I don't think it will be... It'll come back unless, as I say, we're very desperate quickly. With all these things we've talked about so far, though, the stimulus, money printing and, and so on, do you expect the gold price and the silver price to see new record highs as long as the Fed continues to do what it's doing, printing money and monetize debt? Yes, eventually I expect gold and silver to go back to new highs. Uh, I mean, throughout history, when there's staggering amounts of money printing and debasing of money, government money, People have always fled to gold and silver, and I'm sure they will again in 2025, 2030, whenever the, the next disaster takes place. Okay, and we do see a lot of people in cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin. I just want to know your thoughts about Bitcoin, if you consider it a store of value. I have never bought nor sold a cryptocurrency. There have been hundreds, and many of them have disappeared, as you know, and gone to zero. We don't read too much about them, uh, but there are a few thousand of them now, apparently. Um, I mean, sure, if people want to trade them. I don't see any reason not to uh, if, as trading vehicles, and some people have made a lot of money. I don't quite understand why, because if I trade cotton, I know that eventually I'm going to have a shirt. If I trade Microsoft, I know I've got a company behind those shares. If I trade cryptocurrency, I'm not sure what I have. That other than a trading uh, item. But if people want to trade, that's fine. Uh, my view is that if they do become currencies, and the crypto people all say, oh, we're going to be the new currency, we're going to replace government money. If that ever starts happening, I'm sure that the governments will then say no, they will outlaw it or ban it or tax it. They'll do something because governments do not like to lose their control. They do not like to lose their power. I can't imagine that if the U.S. ever said, okay, now this is money. This is the U.S. dollar, and if you want to spend money, this is how you do it. And I can't imagine the U.S. government would then say, but if you want to use something else, use something else. That's not the way governments think. That's not the way they work. Uh, so I, I, I suspect that if they become real currencies, governments will take action. Yeah, I know there were a whole bunch of uh bills put before Congress in, in the last year or two. So I, I definitely agree with you there. They are looking to start regulating it. Uh, but Jim, moving over to a green new world, governments are looking to go green with renewable energy. What commodities do you see getting a boost for renewable energies? Well, it's already happening. Uh, copper has made all time highs because everyone now expects electric vehicles well, electric vehicles use several times as much copper as a normal vehicle because copper is used for electricity con con conduct conduction. Uh, silver, you know, silver is very useful in electronics and, and in solar, solar electricity. So solar will, silver will certainly have much more demand if, if we go that way, and it looks like we are. So some of the things that the world needs or thinks we need, we think we need solar energy, we think we need electric cars. If we're going to have them, it's going to increase the demand for some things, copper, lithium, silver, a few things like that. And do you think the world is ready to move off of their current ICE or internal combustion engines where we use gas and petrol, diesel, oil-based fuels? Do you think we're ready to move off of it and go into electric vehicles? Well, it will take a while, first of all. I mean, even if we all said tomorrow we want it, we couldn't do it because where are we going to get the electricity for our cars? Where are we going to be? How are we going to do it? And many, there are millions of, of petrol 
vehicles on the road. So we couldn't do it tomorrow even if we want to. I can't imagine anybody would say, oh, it's going to happen in a year or two or five even. So it will take a gradual process. You may know that at the beginning of the, of the 20th century, there were many electric cars. In fact, Henry Ford's wife had an electric car and she didn't like his petrol cars. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel. This shows the algorithm that you value the information and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now let's continue. She loved her electric car. Well, I mean, there were electric cars, but eventually petrol cars took over and electric cars disappeared. Now they're coming back. It looks like it's going the other way, but it will take a while. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be selling my, uh, my oil anytime soon because of electric cars. Jim, have you had a chance to ride in the electric cars? We see so many of them here in Singapore. I have ridden in one, not, in, not recently, it was a few years ago. But I mean, it was great, very quiet, very smooth. But I'm not rushing out to buy one. I might, but uh, at the moment, no. As the numbers for these electric vehicle rides, we're going to see more and more nickel being used. Nickel is a big part of the electric vehicle battery, and it is in much higher demand. Have you been keeping an eye on nickel lately? Well, I, I keep an eye on uh, nearly all commodities. I have some commodity uh, ETFs, and, and so, yes, I'm a little aware of what's going on. I mean, my, the commodity, the, I have a, there's some the Rogers Metals uh, ETF trades on the New York Stock Exchange. I mean, it's making new highs. Because things like nickel and copper and lead, they're all in great demand. Okay, and as mentioned, there will be opportunities ahead. In what sectors of the markets or the economy do you see opportunities? And perhaps even in what countries do you see opportunities as well? Well, bonds are certainly a bubble all over the world. Bonds are the highest price they've been in the history of the world. So I don't see opportunities in bonds. Um, property in some places, I mean, if you go to Seoul or New Zealand, some places property is a bubble not everywhere in many places it's not but they're beginning if you look at stocks you're starting to see bubbles develop amazon goes up every day 10 cent goes up all the time you know uh, samsung is always going up so bubbles are developing in stocks but not in all stocks yet the cheapest asset class i see are commodities uh, silver is down 50 percent from its all-time high oil is down 50% from its all-time high. You know, sugar is down 70% from its all-time. So the cheapest asset class I know are commodities. Doesn't mean you should rush out and buy them. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. But it's, as you're looking, as I look around for asset classes, the cheapest are commodities. Um, and as far as countries are concerned, I mean, the Japanese stock market is still down 35% from its all-time high, 35 or 40 China's down, Russia's down, the U.S. is making all-time highs, but I usually prefer to buy stock markets that are not making new highs that are depressed, such as Japan or China or Russia. Okay. You know, Jim, I remember when we spoke in the safe house or a gold and silver vault here in Singapore a couple years back, I had asked you that same question, what were some of the things you were looking to buy? And at that time, you said sugar. And I think before we even turned out the lights to go home after that interview, sugar went up <laughs> that quick. You were that spot on. So Jim Rogers, before we wrap up, could you let our listeners know more about B-Lend Interest and the Ricci? Well, it's just it's one of my, you know, I have to have a company to where my assets and to do business. It's, it's, it's Nobody can buy shares or anything. It's just my own private way to do business. There is, I, I do have some books I've published. Uh, not in English recently. Um, no, I don't have anything to sell, Patrick. Okay, you sure know. I'll I'll trade you some some copper for some shares if you have it available. <laughs> well, I, I prefer sugar right now, or or silver, or gold. Copper is making new highs. Silver still down fifty percent. I plan to buy more silver. I plan to buy more gold before this over, but I'm not buying either right now. Problem is my market timing is usually not very good, but I will be buying more silver and more gold sometime in the future. What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. 
we from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with first-hand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below. You will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just one dollar. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.